Okay, it's the start of a new year, so it's time to set up your learners on the All Aboard Learner Management System for this new year. The first thing to point out is I am an administrator at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and you can see that at the top. This is what my homepage looks like. I have full access to everything. Okay, so step one is to download any assessment results that you need. If I click on my school and click on a class that I want to download the assessment results for, I can then scroll down to the bottom and you can see there's this download button. I'm just going to click that and that is going to download my assessment results for this class. Step two is to go back to my school and I'm going to create a year two intervention team. This will be for any students who haven't passed the phonics screening check and need to continue with their phonics work. So to do that, I'm going to click create new team and I'm going to call this team year two and then just click save. I'm going to remove premium for now. We'll talk about that in another video. Okay. I now just need to add some students to this year two intervention group. I'm going to click on my year one class. I'm going to scroll down. These are my learners here and at the bottom, there's a transfer learners button. I'm going to click on that. And then Kenneth Towler and Lee Jordan didn't pass the phonics screening check this time around. So I'm going to select them, click continue select year two, click continue again. And you can see I've got this nice little pop-up here, just a little reminder to download my assessment results if I need to. Okay, so click continue and they've all been transferred. Now I'm gonna go back to the team. These remaining year one students all pass the phonics screening check, so they're done with phonics. So I'm going to move them into an archive team. To do that, I need to go back to my school page. Under teams, I'm going to create a new team. I will call this one archive 2023. If I go back to year one, scroll down, click transfer learners. And this time I'm going to select all my learners. They're all moving to the archive. Great. They've all gone into that archive and we can see now year one is empty. If I go back to my school page, I'm again going to remove premium for this archive team. I'm also going to click close. I'm going to confirm that and you'll see now Archive 2023 is appearing underneath closed teams. At any time I can open it, so if you've made any mistakes, there's no need to panic. You can reopen the team and shift learners around again if needed. Okay, so step four is to move some learners into year one. I'm going to select my reception team. I'm going to scroll down, click transfer learners and all of these learners are now moving up to year one. Click continue and I'm going to select year one from my team's list. And again, there's that reminder to download any assessment results if needed. There we go. So they are now all in year one. Step five is to add new students to my reception team. This time, I'm not going to click transfer learners. I'm going to click as learners. There are two options to add a learner. You can just type in each learner individually. You'll need to select a team manager as the primary contact and you will also need to add in any parent emails, particularly if you want the app to be accessed at home. So I can see here I haven't actually got a team manager selected as the primary contact, so I'm just going to sort that quickly now. If I go back to home, go back into my school, 
go to reception and I'm just gonna make sure that I have a team manager. So I'm just going to select myself, there we go. Team manager, not a robot, confirm. I'm going to accept that invite, great. Okay, so that reception team is all ready to go. If I go back, click add learners, and I've actually got a CSV file that I'm going to import. To import a CSV, you just need to have a CSV file that looks a little bit like this with the first name, last name, gender, date of birth, and finally those parent emails. I'm going to click browse. I'm going to select my new reception class and you can see it's all imported there. Now I do have headers in my CSV, so I'm going to say, yes, I have those. And then I just need to map the columns. So I'm going to select from the drop down, first name, last name, date of birth, gender, parents' emails, and finally just confirm the date format. So I have got mine set to day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. I'm just gonna click submit. Now I haven't actually added any parent email addresses, so I am gonna click proceed anyway. I'm gonna add those parent email addresses later. It is easier if the parent email addresses are already in the CSV file. It means that parents can start accessing the app at home straight away. But for now, I'm gonna click submit and uh, I'll add those parent email addresses later. Okay, there we go. So I can see all my learners there and I'm going to confirm the import by clicking yes. And if I go into reception now, I should see my learners there ready to go. Now I can as well click on a learner at a later date and then click add pupils parent. I can then select by email and then just type in their email address there and that will then send them that invite to access the app. And that's it, I'm now ready for the new year.